good morning students welcome to the statistics class in the previous classes I had explained to you in the previous videos I had uh, explained to you regarding the theoretical probability distributions how they have been derived and what are the various types of probability distributions that we need to study this academic year I said there are two types various two types of uh, basically they have been segregated into two categories number one is discrete probability distribution and number two is continuous probability distribution so there are various probability distributions that we need to study some of them are Bernoulli distribution binomial distribution Poisson distribution, hypergeometric distribution, normal distribution, chi-square distribution, t-distribution, various distributions that we need to study that it will be there in the higher classes. But for your syllabus, we are only focusing on these distributions which I have mentioned. Okay, among these, the basic of the first probability distribution that we need to study is Bernoulli probability distribution it is called as named after okay James Bernoulli it's Bernoulli probability distribution or only Bernoulli distribution this is how we we mention it students okay so now you need to understand this Whenever we are forming a Bernoulli probability distribution students, whenever we are forming this Bernoulli probability distributions, you know, there is a source, you know, we need to identify the source of this distribution. The source would be definitely one random experiment. One random experiment that I have mentioned it to you. Okay, so from the random experiments only the distributions can be formed. So what is a random experiment? The random experiment is all about that experiment which has only two outcomes in the form of success or failure students. Okay, any experiment which has two outcomes, right, which has two outcomes, right, either of it will happen, that is success or a failure, such type of an experiment will be termed to be as as Bernoulli experiment students it's called as Bernoulli experiment okay so so from this Bernoulli experiment we need to extract or we need to form a random variable so for success it said we give the value 1 and for the failure we give the value 0 so I'll write it like this as yes is equal to okay for success it takes the value z1 or 0 okay in this case we can write it so in other words we can also mention this as x is a random variable this is a random variable and its values are either 0 or it should be 1 this indicates about the success okay so when you are doing an, an experiment once either you succeed or fail if you succeed we denote it as 1 or if you fail we don't it as zero so the probability of this is given as probability of zero is given as q or probability of success that is one is denoted as p or in other words this q also can be written as one minus p students so this is what we have studied in the previous videos regarding this distribution okay and I also mentioned that we can also write in the PMF form or in the mathematical form, Bernoulli distribution, mathematical form as P of X is equal to, right? I can write this to be as P raised to X, okay? Q raised to 1 minus X or X takes the range, okay? X takes the range. What is the range it takes? Either it takes 0 or it takes 1 where p is a probability of success which has the range from 0 to 1 students okay this is what we used to write it 
so whenever we are solving these problems students whenever we are solving the problems on bernoulli distribution or any other distribution basic thing that is required for us is we need to understand pmf the first thing is pmf of any distribution or probability mass function if it is a discrete uh, uh, distribution it is probability mass function if it is a continuous uh, probability distribution we call that to be as pdf okay that will come in the later class students we will study about that later okay right now we'll just keep it aside pmf so first thing that we need to know or remember is the pmf of the distribution the second thing that we need to remember is the mean of the distribution or mean or what we call it as the uh, mean okay mean or expectation of x this is what we need to understand students then remember not only understand we need to remember then we need to remember the variance of x variance of that particular distribution here in this case it is p into q variance of um, binomial bernoulli distribution is pq mean is p and standard deviation of that particular distribution or bernoulli distribution standard deviation is given as root of pq okay number 1 is this number 2 is this and number three that you need to remember is what is the parameter students this is important okay parameter parameter means it's the key element students it's the key element the most important element for the distribution so that p or the uh, the key element or the parameter for this bernoulli distribution is p if this value is known to us students if this value is given to us you know easily we can form the distribution easily we can find out the mean and easily we can find out the variance and the standard deviation and the various probabilities also various probabilities i mean uh, if one probability is known to us the other probabilities we can find out students okay various probabilities just like that i write it various probabilities can be found out so these are the things that you need to remember when you come across any distribution okay so what is that you need to do for a bernoulli since i have uh, explained to you regarding bernoulli distribution i am telling it again for bernoulli distribution right you need to remember what is the pmf the pmf is this this is the pmf students this pmf you need to remember number one okay number two is the mean these things you have to remember and number three is the parameter these things if you remember these three things if you remember you need to buy hard them and when you do this when you remember them then it will be easy for you to solve the problem students okay so this is what is the um, base for us to start with the problems what is given on the screen to you so i will just uh, okay go back and read the first problem see the first problem what is the first problem if p is equal to 1 by 4 see here they have given if p is equal to 1 by 4 for Bernoulli distribution write down the PMF also find the variance write down the PMF also find the variance students okay so this is what uh, you need to understand students okay what you have to do they said if P is equal to 1 by 4 for a Bernoulli distribution write down the PMF also find the variance students okay very simple you remember all these things which i have told it to you so you need to remember this pmf you need to remember this mean for variance and standard deviation formula and you should know what is the parameter of it if you remember these things then it will be easy for us okay okay right let me take this in this way students i will erase these explanations to you so that it will be easy for you for me to do the problems here Okay, students, I hope you are 
I have understood regarding those things and all. Okay. Fine. So make sure that you are remembering all those things. Okay. Let me start doing this, students, for you. Okay. Right. Fine. So for a, for a, if p is equal to one by four for a Bernoulli distribution, write down the PMF. So I am starting here the solution. I am starting here the solution for the eleventh problem, which is on the screen. Okay. So they said if p is equal to one by four, see this is the key element. P is the key element for a Bernoulli distribution. Very clearly they mentioned Bernoulli distribution, students. Okay. So what we need to do is we need to write down the PMF using this. So let me first write what is the PMF of uh, Bernoulli distribution. The PMF of Bernoulli distribution is we write it like this students P of X is equal to is it right? P raised to X Q raised to 1 minus X where X takes the range 0 and 1. This is what we remember. Okay. Now for wherever you see P here in this equation. Okay, this is the probability. Don't change this. Wherever you see P here, you are substitute the value. So the value would be like this. It would be 1 by 4 raised to x. Okay, 1 by 4 raised to x. And then Q. How to find out Q? Q is very simple, students. Just previously I have explained Q is equal to 1 minus P. Always 1 minus P it is. Okay, so if you say it is like this 1 minus 1 by 4. 1 minus 1 by 4, in other words, in 1 kg, quarter kg goes, how much, how many kg is left out? 3 fourth kg will be left out, like that, right? Simple, fine. So, remember always, P and Q go together. So, you see, because P and Q, when we add, always it should be 1. If P is 0.3 students, Q will be 0.7, because they both together will become 1. If P is 0.2, Q will be 0.8 students. You understand? If P is 0.1, Q will be 0.9. If P is 0.45, Q will be 0.55. Like that because they both, if we add, we should get what the sum should be 1. So that, on that basis, Q is, will be 3 by 4. 3 by 4 raised to 1 minus X, where X takes the range 0 and 1, students. This is the first answer. Write down the PMF, they said. Also find variance, they said. Variance, you know, the variance of a Bernoulli distribution is given as P into Q students. P into Q. What is P? P is 1 by 4 and Q is 3 by 4. Okay. So, it would be 3 by 16 students. You don't need to. If you want to simplify it, you can simplify it, the answer. 3 by 16, whatever answer you may get. It's here. You get the answer here. It's clearly seen. Variance is equal to 3 by 16. Is that okay? Right. Okay, now if you just go back and see the second one, the second question, you see the second question. Okay, so the, the second question is very clearly mentioned here as find the, the find the mean and variance of Bernoulli distribution with parameter P is equal to 0. For three students, is it right? Find mean and variance. So I'm writing here for the solution. Twelfth problem. Okay, they said find mean and variance of a Bernoulli distribution very clearly. Mean something is given with the parameter p. Given p is equal to 0 0.43. So here itself I will write. Just now I explained to you how to find out if p is 0.45. I said P, Q would be 0.55. On that basis, this would be Q would be is equal to 0 0.5. How much? 7. If you add these two together, you should get equal to how much students? 1. Is that okay? Okay. So now, what they said mean. So what is the mean of Bernoulli distribution? Mean, in other words, it is expectation of X is nothing but P itself students. What is it? It is 0 0.43. Okay. Then what is the variance? Okay. The variance of uh, the distribution. Variance is equal to V of X is equal to P into Q students. P into Q. Is it right? That's the formula that we have learned. P. What is P? 0 0.43. 
into Q is 0 0.57. Okay, so when we multiply or take the product of these two, okay, 0 0.43, 0 0.43 into 0.57, you get the answer as 0 0.2451. Is that clear? Okay, so see the answer. The answer is matching with that. Okay, so right, this is how it is. The second, the twelfth question also has been solved to us students. Okay, the next one. Okay, the next one. I'll just take this down. Okay, we can go down here. Okay, keep it here. So we'll go for the 13th question. What is the 13th question? Solution for the 13th question. Okay, what is that? Write down the Bernoulli, Bernoulli distribution with parameter 2. Point, P is equal to 2.5. They have given P is equal to 2 by 5. Okay, 2 by 5. And they asked us to write down the Bernoulli distribution. We can do it in two ways, students. Number one is writing down the PMF. Okay, writing down the PMF. What is the PMF? PMF is P of X is equal to P raised to X, Q raised to 1 minus X, where X takes the value 0 and 1. Right? So, we can take it in this way. We can write it in this way as if P is 2 by 5. Okay? So, imagine, right, it's all about success or failure. 5 times they hit a shot, 2 times they become successful. PQ denotes failure. P denotes success. Two times they have been successful out of five. Then how many times they have been failing? In other words, three times. Three by five. Right? Q raised to X. This is two by five raised to X into three by five raised to one minus X. This is how we can write the distribution students. Okay? This is how one way of writing it. The other way of writing it is or I'll write it like this or write the values of x here in the tabular form the values of x are 0 and 1 students is it right 0 and 1 so p of x right now 1 is for success success the probability is p is it right so when it is p what is the value of p it is it is 2 by 5 and what is the value of uh, 0 then it would be it would be 3 by 5 okay so this is the another way of writing the Bernoulli probability distribution students. This is what they have done it here. So if you add these two, you know, you'll get it as one because summation P of X should be always equal to one in a probability distribution. Is that okay? Right. Okay. Then we'll come to the next one. Next question. What is the next question we have that is? For a Bernoulli distribution, right, if P is equal to, for a Bernoulli distribution, if P, this is a 14th solution, 14th problem for a Bernoulli distribution, if P is equal to 0 0.27, write down the PMF, right, they said write the PMF, also find standard deviation, okay, just now. We have written that PMF. What is that PMF? PMF is equal to is P of X is equal to, okay, P of X is equal to P raised to X. Is it right? P raised to X, Q raised to 1 minus X, where X takes the value 0 and 1. Now substitute what is P? P is 0 0.27, 0 0.27 raised to X. And Q, what would be Q, students? Q would be, 0. Point, how much? 0. 0.73. Correct? 0. 0.73 raised to 1 minus x. Okay? Where x is equal to 0, 1. This is what we need to write it. Is that okay? Okay. Then they asked to find out the standard deviation students. Okay? Right. So for standard deviation, it's important that we need to find out variance of it. Variance is P into Q students. P into Q. Is that right? P is 0 0.27. Q is 0 0.73. Okay. 
that's what it is is it right so it is 0 0.27 0 0.27 into 0.73 is equal to how much you get students it is 0 0.1971 okay right because you know students you can directly write it standard deviation of x is equal to root of you know p q or something this is what it is it's the root of 0 0.1971 so root of 0 0.1971 you get the answer as 0 0.4439 and approximately 0 0.44 we can just approximate to s that's what we need to do with students that is the fourth question okay that is what we have it in the 14th question understood okay now see the uh, 15th question students what is the 15th question to us the 15th question is given us find the, bio, find the mean and variance of a Bernoulli distribution with parameter p is equal to 2 by 3 once again right very simple question these are all two marks question students keep it in your mind p is equal to 2 by 3 when p is equal to 2 by 3 what would be q q is equal will be 1 by 3 correct right find the mean mean is what mean is equal to expectation of x is equal to p what is p p is 2 by 3 this is mean then they asked variance variance of x is it right it is p into q in other words it is 2 by 3 into 1 by 3 in other words it is 2 by 9 students is that clear so that's what is the answer this is what we have it for Bernoulli distribution problems all one mark two marks you remember so keep it in your mind Bernoulli distribution for any probability distribution we need to remember PMF number one we need to remember the what is that we say parameters okay parameters these are the things that we need to remember and the third thing is if you remember about the mean right variance all these things you know it will be very easy for us to solve the problems in Bernoulli distribution students I hope you have understood these okay in the next video we will enter into a new distribution which is called as binomial distribution thank you